Mr. Cave. Hey,
start with by everybody getting away from the track. And if you're not in the bleacher, you're going to have to either get over here in one of the corner, but nobody can get out in front of the race because you may cost somebody $1,000. So if those youngsters right in front of the track can back up just a little bit, uh, scoot them right back, the three little boys and the little girl, uh, get them away from the track and back uh, away from the activity here because uh, any movement, unnecessary movement, may cost somebody a lot of money in this race this afternoon. All right, we're going to have these gentlemen here, these big fat boys, are going to be the starters uh, for the race. Lynn Wells over here from Georgia is the official uh, cooter inspector. Lynn, where are you? And some of the rules are you don't put red pepper on the cooter's tail. You don't put gasoline. You don't use any kind of chemical uh, to induce the cooter to run faster. And he, where's Lynn? He's supposed to smell it. And this, Lynn, you want to come out? And it's, he's the cooter inspector from Georgia. Georgia. And uh, boys from Georgia make better cooter inspectors than boys in South Carolina. So uh, Lynn, if you're going to do that, but we've already checked most of the cooters out, and they're perfectly legal. What we want is your cooperation. Uh, you big butt people get back away from the cooter race and everything so we can run this, uh, run this race without any of I'm not talking about you. Okay, here's the cooter inspector. Of Allendale, Spider Gale is first on display. And we want Spider Gale, excuse me. And then nobody else inside walking around. Now once you get in here, sit down and that's it. What? Okay, don't forget too, the day when the cooter race is over, uh, you don't want to uh, just throw your cooter in the trash or something like this. James Davis is here, and he's got the water tanks. We would appreciate it if you come and bring them and put them back in the water, and he'll turn them back loose in his ponds and in the canals and stuff. So when it's over today, please do that. Uh, Scratch and Sniff, owned by Kelly Farr of Allendale. Where's Kelly? Once more now, I want you to be still, and, and whatever you do, don't hit your cooter, and don't abuse it, because if you do, you'll be disqualified. Where's contestant number two, Scratch and Sniff, Kelly Farr, Allendale? And you're supposed to go round the circle, okay? Is this it in a box? I guess you call that a box scooter. I think the owner there looks better than the cooter does. No, the cooter looks better than he does. Okay. Okay, you see Mary Plums, you can come back and stand in front of the grandstand. Okay, cooter number four is Chain Gang by Nelly, and this is Rachel uh, Sargent of Barmore. Rachel, where's yours? Oh, she's got hers dressed up like he's a road gang, handcuffs and everything. Rachel just prance around out there and show everybody a cooter. Go around the circle. <laughs> what is that hanging out? Bozy Jam, and it looks like uh, Richard uh, Sargent out of Barmore. And he'll have to tell me the name of his cooter because Matt's right is not really good. What's the name of that? Oh, Mossy Jaws. Oh, excuse me. Mossy Jaws. Is that you sure there's a cooter under there? Okay, there he is. Go ahead and make your little trip around now, Rachel. Uh, Richard. Go ahead and show everybody your cooter. Richard. Nothing like. Uh, get out here and show your cooter. Where's Joyce? Here she comes. There she comes, Joyce. All American got a hat on it. Go ahead and walk around, Joyce. Okay, the next one is Baby Cooter, Ashley Roundtree of Barnwell. Everybody take a good look because the crowd is going to decide, not me, who wins best dressed. Okay, and $100, by the way, will go to the best dressed cooter. Baby Cooter, Ashley Roundtree of Barnwell. Ashley? There comes Ashley. Look at the little tiny little thing. Oh, the cow. Is that nice or what? And she's barefoot. She looks like she just come off the farm. Is that cute? There's little Dale Bragg from Barnwell. Is that? Y'all take a good look now. Y'all gonna be the judges here this afternoon. And we do thank you for turning out. The weather's nice. I think the Kudos will run this afternoon, so we may make the world record of 12 seconds on this 15-yard track. I bet you got that too. Next up will be Redneck, Brittany Davis of Allendale. Redneck front and center. Redneck front and center. And y'all crowd around back in front of the grandstand. I tell you what, you don't have to walk right in front of the grandstand. Just walk around out in front of the crowd there and make sure they see you. Redneck, where are you? Brittany Davis. 
Calling for you the second time, Brittany Davis. You get three calls and you're struck out. Brittany Davis, next up. Is Brittany Davis here? Number two call. Does I see Brittany anywhere? Is she here? Oh, there she comes. Okay, Brittany, you're doing a wonderful job. Yes, sir. She's from Allendale. Where is the cooter? There it is. Oh, what is that cooter one? And there's a nice one. And by the way, and show everybody, the cooter's the one on the truck now. There's Annette of the Tiger Express. I guess it's got that uh, Tiger in the Tank deal, right, Annette? You gonna race the same one? Okay, there's Annette. Okay, the next one is Bo's Cooter, and this is owned by, uh, hey, Cooter, that's not a real little one. That's, uh, that's represents B's Restaurant. There's a little one, Stacy. Okay. Miss Frank Festival is the name of this scooter, and it's on. <laughs> That's Miss Frank Festival, okay? Okay, Cooter Rooter, Frankie Roundtree of Barnwell. And we're going to run what? Six at a time? And we will have, uh, each heat will have a winner. And those of you who win, hang on to your cooter because then you'll come back to win this division. And this division will get $100 and a trophy and will be eligible to top three in this division for the grand finale, okay? Now everybody have a seat. We can't start here, you sit down. Count them up, Scarlett. Jerry, can you count to six? Okay. Got six cooters. Everybody ready? Now the rules are you can stand, jump up and down, scratch, whatever you want to behind the starting gate, but nobody is to go ahead of that white starting gate and everybody be real still. Three, two, one, let them run. And they're off and running. Okay, y'all can do it. Y'all can jump up down, holler, blow on your cooter, kick on your cooter, do whatever you want to. Y'all uh, can do it. And the rest of you be still out there, you spectators, please do. Oh, we've got a moving family cooter. There you go. Blow on him, blow on his tail right now. Get out real low. Blow right on his tail. You got to blow on his tail. May want to kiss him. Whatever it takes to get it going. <laughs> the cooter won't. Has anybody got a winner yet? Look going down there. There's a winner. Who is that cooter? Okay, that, what's the name of the cooter? Mary Plunk? Mary Plunk is the winner of the first heat. So she's going to have an opportunity to win this division. Here you go. Everybody ready? Everybody else be still. Three. Uh-oh, we have short a cooler. All right, last call. Who's out there? There's two up there. Raise your hand. Is there six there? Jerry says there's only five. Yeah, I called you. You just about get the left out here. Okay, here's one last one. Now we have six. All righty. Three, two, one. Let them run. Dump the dump the milk and dust. Blow on them now. Do whatever it takes, you know. And everybody else be real still. Are these scooters going to run or what? Oh, there goes one on the inside track down there, making it to the headlines. There he goes. Is he going to make it? Yeah, he's going to make it. There he is. There. Okay. That is George Davis' scooter. And George, by the way, is a past winner here at the Cooter Race. George Cooter's name named Thunder. Six scooters, ma'am. Okay, you've got Susie, that's fine. As long as we have six cooters out there, and then come tell me. Now, the winners of each heat will go into the uh, division runoff. Are you ready? Six on the line. Three, two, one. Let them run. Here they go, off and running. Okay, here he goes. Oh, he stopped. Y'all be real still. He sees Nat Rice's tummy sticking out over there. Yeah, he thinks it's a big cooter. <laughs> He's not going, oh, look over here, one with sparkly stuff on it. That's a little land cooter over there, doing very well on the inside track. Y'all be real still. If you think you need to blow on it, go ahead. Okay. Uh-oh, now we've got a two-cooter two, two, two cooter race. Some of them are going backwards. Now he's stopping. Now he's going to the inside. We've got two cooters. The little land cooter on the left, the slider on the right. And let's see, it's going to be close. Y'all better be still. They're stopping right there. Let's see. Uh-oh, there's a winner. The little humpback land 
scooter. If you come up and tell me what that scooter's name is and who you are. Come over here, young man. You're off and running. Here we go. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Blow on them a little bit, guys. Get out and kiss them a little bit. You boys know how to do that. Go ahead. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, they're very... No, no record set yet. The world's fastest scooter, by the way, set the record back about five years ago in 15 seconds. I think 12 seconds is what they did. Look at the little rascal on the inside, the uh, slider over there. The big slider's on the right. Y'all be very still because any slight movement will cause these people an opportunity to win big bucks. Okay, are they moving or what? Y'all wait till the big cooters get out of here and I won't have to tell you to stand back. There comes the big one, Lou fell over the inside, he stopped. By the way, we have a three minute time limit on this and if uh, three minutes is up uh, and nobody's won, then we'll declare the winner the fur furthest one down the track. Are we going or what? Oh, now he's going to push the other one into winning there. You don't want a big cooter running up behind. Go ahead, he's going to push him. He's going to push him. That's exactly what he's doing. Okay, a winner. Who is this? Fantastic winner over there. That will be, uh, is that uh, my beat still? No movement particular right in front. Are you ready? Three, two, one. The winner of this heat wins the mini division, gets $100 and a trophy. And we're off in line. Boy, look at the big rascal wobbling his way down the line. All righty. All righty. Be careful. Here comes the big rascal. Oh, he's moving his way. I hope he doesn't saw. Uh oh, he saw somebody move up there. Now, Thunder will only move him. Is he looking around or what? Now he's on a mess right around there. Y'all be still, guys. Sit down. Okay, now he's just one on the inside over here. Maybe has a chance. Over here is the winner on the right. All righty. All right, now. Rest of you, go get your cooters and come back. You got to sit down. This big one, these, these snapping cooters here will bite you. Yeah, somebody just threw a pom-pom out on the uh, racetrack. But that's okay. They'll run over it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one, let them race. All right, tell that young man right there to move back. Here we go. They're off and they're going everywhere but the right the right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, look at the big cooter on the left. That rascal's moving. That's William Mixon's cooter. William, that boy's moving. All right, go on, boy. Go on, boy. Go on, boy. There he is. He crossed the middle line, finish line. William. Do we have six cooters, Jerry? Jerry, you tired of looking at cooters yet? Three, two, one, let her rip. Mixon of Allendale, Josh and Chelsea bring old Exxon out here. Luke the Cooter, owned by Lucius Lafitte of Allendale. Where is Lucius? There, oh, Lucius has got a snapper. Oh, Doc, no more, no mouth to mouth or anything like that. This is Luke. Misty, owned by Kendera Roundtree of Barnwall, on Kendra, and Unwound on Jason Smith of Allendale. That should be one. The 13th annual Carolina Cooter Races, the Allendale County Spring Festival. And the slider on the left, the slider on the, I tell you, these sliders, you can hardly beat them. He's moving back to the inside. He's going to be declared a winner. Boy, that is a fast cooter. Hey, Joe. He had a barn on the line. Now give me the uh, mini division winners. Okay, the mini division winners. Caitlin Cochran with uh, Sissy Diamond out of Barnwell. Harry Roundtree with Clyde out of Barnwell. And Joyce Davis with Tundra out of Barnwell. These are our six finals. Now, the first scooter to win two out of three races is going to win $1,000. Now, I can't stress the fact that you better be very still. We're going for $1,000. Everybody find a seat. Are you ready? Two out of three races, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, go. All righty, this is the money race, friends and neighbors, the money race. Go, 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 go. There's a big slider on the left that's going to qualify first, looks like. Who's cool is that? Oh, here we go. They're off and running. Who's going to win the $1,000? We're going to see. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Yeah, this is not this is a big slider on the left. The slider's on the left, they're going. 
Oh, look at the big roster. He just went by on the inside. There is the winner, I believe, of the $1,000. Did you win? Is that the same Cooter? How about that? Kendra Roundtree's Cooter just won two heats in a row, and she wins the $1,000 with a Cooter by the name of Misty. Kendra Roundtree, would you come over here front and center and take a bow? With your fast food. She has won $1,100 today in Cooter racing. And I believe Mr. Dan Johnson down there with the newspaper may want to take your pictures and everything with your trophy, so uh, everybody pose for him. Hey, it's been a good evening, and the Barnwell Cooter has won. Kendra Roundtree wins the $1,000. We do thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of the Spring Festival. Have a good evening, and bye-bye.